everything. Let's get ready for this walk. Great rising, great rising, great rising. Joan, Mary, Diane, Loretta. I'm using natural light. Some, I read something that said, you know, uh, try to use natural light. Not so much artificial light. So, that's what I'm going for. Okay, here we are. It's a Saturday, y'all. And Miss Vicky is here, thank goodness. Okay, my head don't look chopped off. Okay. It's a little cooler today than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was downright muggy. Whew. Alright. I'm working out. Oh, yeah. I, I stopped saying, like, Tracy, come on for a walk. Come on for a walk. But we were walking since January. You see, I'm walking. Some kind of movement. You ain't got to walk. Anyway. Um. I take everything to a routine, and it just makes it so easier to flow. Like, I steam every other day. And if I miss a steam, I just add like 10 minutes on to the next steam. But it works out to be two to three times a week, sometimes maybe four times a week, I get the steamer. Now, you hear me talk about steaming. But I'm going to tell y'all again, the tent my daughter got, when they said, try out this steamer and write a review and you can keep the steamer and the tent for a dollar. So we did it. It was wonderful. We gave a review. And then like the next time we tried to use it, the thing broke. So then we gave it back. They gave it back to us. And it broke again. So, there was that. We got the tent. So, I just couldn't stop, you know, remembering how good it felt and how it reminded me of the why and um, the whys that I used to go YMCA's. And I just won it again. So, when I got home with money, I said, you know, I asked my daughter to go on Amazon and see if she could find me a steamer. Let's try this again, but with a different kind of steamer. And we did. The steamer was only $30. So, you hear me say I steam two or three days a week. No, we're not talking about no hundred million bull billion dollars. We're basically talking about a beautiful steam that I try to show y'all for thirty one dollars. So don't say, oh she be talking about steaming and she no, no, uh uh. No. I worked very hard. The years I wasn't raising my daughter as a single parent. You go on up. I know a lot of single parents went straight through 30 years working, raising kids. Um, that wasn't my due jammy. I wanted to raise my kids. So, uh, so, you know, off and on, back and forth, between jobs. I paid my dues. So I get the rebounds of my due payment from working. And um, so when I got that $30, and I was like, <laughs> always gonna, please go to GoFundMe. Please help me open this safe. Thank you. So. When you hear me saying I'm steaming, which is going to be part of TikTok next year. 
I think there's other people who steam too. And I think we can steam in the evening. I do it in the afternoon. And I've done it in the evening. But in the winter time, a nice steam before a bath is real nice. So I'll think about working that into TikTok. In addition to, I want me a um I knew the name of it just the other day. We had five minutes, y'all, so you know this walk is over. This Saturday walk is over. Um, a bench press bar thing. Okay. Okay. I have to read something. Something popped in. And I don't know why this popped in. Okay. It's still recording. So, we're all right. Wow, stuff just be popping in while you be recording. Anyway. It's not a work bench. A workout bench? Because I want to do like bicep. Not, not by Pecs. I want to work on the pecs. And then this is the back area. So, that's the plans for the TikTok. And then, on Sunday, I take stuff, everything from the phone, and I put it into, hold on, let me take care of this message. There, let me close it. Um, then on Sundays, I take everything Hey, great rises, whoever came to then I, on Sunday I take everything and I put it on the external hard drive. And everything is saved there. Hey, is that my Joni? <laughs> great rises, Joan, great rises. So, see, and I'm just working in the schedule. So on Sunday, I take all the videos off the phone, put it to the external hard drive. Um, I do little videos and stuff that I'm going to do for TikTok that you got to take off the phone. So I make sure those are done. Then I get rid of those. Google was trying to charge me money to store them. Oh, but I got, I got external hard drives I can store them on. Thank you very much, though. I'm good with it, thank you very much. So, that's what I do on Sundays. I gotta remember to call Gigi Darling this Sunday. You can go to her class culture on YouTube. So, I'll call her on Sunday. And just making sure stuff is ready for the following week. I mean, I'm just coming down here walking. I know other people think you should be in fashions and stuff like that, but I've stayed alive. And you know what else I was thinking? My birthday is this month. And often we think, we don't think about what we give ourselves for our birthday. But I thought about what I was going to give myself for my birthday starting January 2nd of this year. I wanted to give myself health. And then, okay, okay, this is what happened this, that yesterday. I was eating something. And I was like, oh... Let me get these raisins. Let me throw these raisins in. And I put the raisins in. And I was like, oh, when did raisins get so sweet? Do you believe that? I was like, when did I start thinking raisins were sweet? I couldn't believe it. 
Then I got so happy. That's sweet to me. It has taken me five years to change that eating habit from 57, or maybe more than five years, six years, 58 to now, 58. Yeah, five years. My birthday isn't here exactly. And that's what it does. Transitioning from the 50 to the 60s, as far as eating habits are concerned, is very important. And exercise is concerned. And I punched through it. So I got this little raisin. And I'm like, wow, why do the raisins get so sweet? What, what's good? And I had, and I was like, get out. I finally got rid of it. That cane, that cane addiction, sugar cane addiction, I kicked it. It took me five years. Five years that sugar came because it was now that was a longer battle fighting to get off that sugar cane was a, a longer battle you had to jump from sugar cane to, uh, you stay in the sugar cane because you go from the bleach sugar that's really messing us up. That had me sitting down taking um, uh, stuff to start your pancreas up. Oh, insulin. And that that's really the worst. So I got off the worst, but I was on the worst since I was a child. So my aunt and them, they didn't, they didn't, and my grandma, they didn't do sugar. That's something I developed myself as a young adult. But I didn't have, I didn't leave my family with a sugar addiction. That didn't happen. They control sugar. Um, my aunt used to make Kool-Aid, which was remnants of Kool-Aid and remnants of cane sugar. sugar. Uh, it tastes so bad, we used to say, can we have water, please? Anyway... So we, that didn't come from family, that sugar addiction. Uh, that's something I developed. And I got rid of. And you can tell, once your raisins become sweet, once your grapes become so sweet, you know the cane addiction is over. And you're able to find out that there's other things that are sweeter than cane sugar. But cane, this, I don't know if the bleach out of, but anyway, I went from cane sugar to natural sugar to no sugar. Just cutting sugar, just when it comes through, just cutting it, water it. Just, uh, just. And then we went agave. And agave takes anything fruit and makes, and it expands on it and it's it's great and now i can say like other people god it's real sweet <laughs> so i fought that addiction and though it's part of me every day because this isn't everything we eat i don't go out i don't get my keeblers or drake's cakes i i i'm I, my body has grown beyond that. I don't do things that breaks up uh, that sugar like that again. It's not gonna happen. So, so I'm in that grapes are sweet period of my life, and I'm okay with that. So, very proud. Pat myself on the back. Yeah. So, 
I do everything in a certain order. So, happy birthday to me. Every day I say it, I'm like, because happy birthday to me. I am healthy. <laughs> yes. And that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. No more weeble wobbles. No more, remember the vertigo thing? Ooh, child. With the tephuses? Ooh, child. Happy birthday to me. Hey, y'all. We at the halfway mark already. Hey! <laughs> Great risings, my Joan. Great risings. Oh, thanks, Joan. You have a wonderful weekend, too. Ha, ha, ha. Hoo, child. You know my water was down here yesterday? Yep. It's a long story. A long story, y'all. I gotta take some pictures today. I don't have the dogs. So, I got just some cameos. <laughs> that looked like I was constipated. Okay. This is a great Miss Vicky. You know it's Saturday. Miss Vicky. Which is me. So I don't want nobody to think like I'm infringing on myself. <laughs> I give myself permission to, to use my own work.
Okay. I read to my son when he was young and couldn't understand to see. And when I was getting older and couldn't understand or see, my son read to me. That's what Miss Vicky said. Thank you, Miss Vicki. You can get the book, I Like to Say Yes, and put the word yes in your child's vocabulary from any Barnes and Nobles, um, Amazon, of course, and Archway Publishing. So, I like that. Because the first time my daughter, she was a young adult, and she had her first car, and it was this wonky accident. Uh, it, it was a lot of insurance ripoffs going back then in the, in the early 2000s, where they would just stop short in front of you and you slam into them, and then y'all, so it was like this whole ring of people doing that. So she went against one of those, and of course you have to write it up the insurance thing, and. I remember how proud I was first when she came to me. She was like, oh, mommy, you're right and you're right. And I was like, oh, well, finally, you acknowledge it. Anyway. So her and I together, we sat there and we did it. We did that timeline. And I just remember looking at her. And very quickly through my head, I remember us going in and out of the library. Me holding her hand and going to the library. Of course, remember from... Uh, my stories I used to have that the line, they used to leave the block again, scheduling. They knew what days I'd be going to the library and their parents made sure to have them there. And we did the reading as fundamental. And then there was a time I had an issue with my eye. And I said, oh, you know, I guess it's just not a I'll read it to you. And she read it to me. And then she interpreted, you know, what she was reading. And again, my mind ran back to her whole, and I felt her little hand in mine as we were making our way walking to the library. And I was like, yes. Yes. And then... There was something technical with the computer thing. And I couldn't understand it. And she had already done the research and she said, Mommy, you do X, Y, Z, and Z. And again, I felt a little hand in the palm of my hand. And the vision came of us walking to the library. So, out of all the Miss Vickies, the Cat in the Cradle, I like the most. Because I read to her. <clears throat> I gave her my reading comprehension. Um, she... <laughs> so, read to your kids. When you think it older, they'll read to you. That's how simple it is. Read in front of your kids. 
They're all there in front of you, and quite possibly do you. So, out of all of them, that is the best. That is the best for me of the Miss Vicky's. Cat in the Cradle. Y'all remember the Cat in the Cradle? The dad was too busy. He was too busy. He was making money. He was doing this. He didn't have time for his son. And then, when dad retired, and dad said, hey, son. And son said, hey, I'm a little busy right now, dad. I ain't got time. And then when he got older, he said, hey, son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing interpretation. Oh, dad. I'll pay you nursing home fees, but uh, a little busy. So I didn't have a cat in the cradle, wasn't it? I got the feel of that little hand in the palm of my hand. And I have the vision of us, just like it was yesterday, walking to the library. Visions of us sitting down and her running back and forth to the shelter. Well, why don't you just tell me why it was it? And I would sit there and, you know, we took all the other kids. They would bring books back and forth and we'd sit at the table. We would literally spend about two hours in the library. Because then we had to go through the process of, you know, reading fundamental and how many books you take it out. And I had everybody's library card. Everybody had checked out. I knew what everything had to be renewed. And it's great. I don't have that situation. All right, let's do some fingers. It's a little cooler, but yesterday was ugh, almost like a wipeout. It was so humid. I was like, Thought that was behind us. I was like, oh, can I go for, to Alaska for the summer? You know, can I go to the coldest part of Canada for the summer? And then come back to the States, go to Switzerland where it's cold in the summer. <laughs> I think it's cold in the summer. I don't know if it summer can be everywhere. Or go someplace where it's their winter. Find a place where it's their winter. And I go. And then I'll come back when it's our winter. Because I don't like that warmth. I don't like that heat stuff. I like to create my own heat. Like the steam is so lovely. I can't lay in the sun any anyone have it totally drain the life force out of me. I can dip back and forth into the sun. But I can't. I can't do that. And I've seen old people do it when I was just I sitting there looking like pure raisins. I've seen it, but that ain't me. That ain't me. But I love that intense that intense heat, but not long. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and that whoosh, that blast, whoosh. Oh. You see I hold on when I change speeds? That's just because I have to adjust. I know I have to adjust. So, you see me, if it's a small adjustment, you'll see me like tap on this. If it's a large invest <laughs> adjustment, you'll see me hold on. That's I don't want to go viral like that. <laughs> I go viral for having some kind of accident on the treadmill instead of uh, encouraging old people to exercise. They'll keep that as a reason for, I ain't going to exercise, look what happened to her. Okay. Oh, I should do the side that's closest to the camera first. Look at the elbow. And let's do this. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't get one. I wonder if I'm doing my wrist more than I'm doing my shoulder, tucking the elbow. One, yeah, two, supposed to be the arm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's supposed to be the arm, not the wrist. Well, if you walk with us, including today, you did three hours. I'm hoping that one day is nice and cool and that we'll be able to get our faster walking. Yeah, but talking about the routine. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, walk fast. Friday, Saturday, stroll and talk. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, walk fast. Put on headsets. Friday, Saturday, no headsets, chit chat. Thanks, thanks for your support. Joni, have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, love. All oh, you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for your support for our virtual walk. Go fund me. Please help me open this safe. Thank you. Oh, said a happy walker. Here we go. Fast walk is over. Quicky, quick, 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 quick. Thank you for coming on the walk. See you Monday. Please subscribe, YouTube. Hit the like. Please hit the like. Like Clyde Diva 6 says. Okay. See you next time. See you Monday. Have a great weekend.